we're going to cover something new in this video and it's called published data sources and when I first was learning about this I, I had no idea what it does uh, what it did it was just kind of kind of a bit foreign and I just didn't get the purpose because our tableau was working our data sets were being published I was like what is the big deal I don't understand the benefit it wasn't until a bit later on that we discovered that you just can't publish that many on a given day. So what I mean by that is manually publishing. I download the data, I open up Tableau Desktop, I hit that publish button, and then that's it. Because sometimes, you know, the data sets are quite large, so I can't just do them all in one go. There's a bit of a wait period. So let's say I have, uh, each time I have to um, refresh and publish data, right, inclusive of any corrections or modifications or whatever it is I'm doing, could take me 45 minutes to an hour let's say an hour that means I'm capped at eight publishers a day which isn't great I don't want to be limited in that way and this is where published data sources come in right that in conjunction with um, something I've mentioned earlier which is Tableau bridge which is the automation of publishing those data sources right means you are no longer tied to your computer you can schedule these data sources to be published automatically on a schedule up to you so I can have days where I'll come to work you know let's say I'm at work at 7 a.m. right I could have 30 data sets that I have to publish the most I have to do is turn on my computer and that's it that's my job right I turn it on and I just let it do its thing I don't have to open anything I don't have to run anything and Tableau will just take care of it for me okay so before we can get to that automation part we have to understand the manual method of publishing data sources now here's why it's important in addition to everything I just said so let's say I have a dashboard okay I'm just gonna do a very crude one here and I've got a some sort of graphic on it okay to actually generate that dashboard I need raw data right let's say this is the raw data okay so I'm connecting these two right and I've created this and let's say this line is my cloud so I publish it to the cloud now everyone can view my data right and that's great that's step one but here's the problem let's say one of my colleagues goes listen I also need to do an analysis using that same data can you send it to me right I've got a few options I can just put it onto an Excel spreadsheet and send it but what if it's too big right also that takes time right even if it's only five minutes that's taking up my time so what you can do is instead of publishing this as a single file to the cloud you can publish them separately so instead of a package workbook you're you're publishing a workbook and a data set so let me show you what that looks like so if I have a let's say this is my cloud again I've got my dashboard right and I've got my raw data okay that means anyone can access this raw data and build off it so you can have like literally a hundred if not more people accessing the one data source building heaps of different dashboards and when I update this data set it updates everyone's dashboards immediately not immediately I think it's like a few minutes let's say right but that's how data sources work it's a great way of sharing information right much better than Excel because here's the thing there's only one there's only one file right so you're not sending Excel files all over the place with all different versions people arguing oh you've got 10 I've got three why are values different it's like no Tableau we've all connected to the same data set we all have the same data right so it's a great data to data governance thing one source of truth and so on so let's get into the mechanics of how you do it we've got that dashboard that we built earlier okay now when I published this it was one data set so if I come in here and go explore and go budget yeah, it's just one file right there's no separate data set or anything like that it's think of it stitched together okay so you can see it's all stitched as one I want to publish them separately so if I come in here is it this one okay and let's just open a new sheet I like to just do it in a new sheet I'm gonna publish each of these data sets to the server or to the cloud the way I do is I go server I'm going to go publish data source and we'll start with NBA All right 
Now I've got Tableau Bridge installed. Most likely you haven't. So just ignore this part, right? We're not interested in any refreshing at the moment. We're not, not going to worry about that. We're just going to say, please publish it to budget, MBA salaries. This is the data source, right? So data source, uh, we, we, you should give it a better name, but just for our example, data source. And if I go update, here's the difference. Instead of this file, or instead of this dashboard referencing the local file, let's say it's on my desktop, it's going to reference the data that I'm publishing online. So in order to update this data set, I have to update the one that's online. All right. So now if I click publish, you'll notice that that symbol will change. So I go publish. Right now, the first time you publish, it takes a while, right? And it usually says it there if it's a large data set. But this one appears to be really quick. If you see that not responding at the top, don't freak out. And it will automatically open in your default browser. Okay. And then we wait. All right. And has been published. You can adjust permissions, okay, etc. Done. I right, don't have to worry about that. So we've got the data set here now. This is called Ask Data. We're not going to worry about that just yet. We'll cover that later. And if I go back, right, you're going to see it's its own file now, right? Now remember, this one is still the old design. This is not connected to this one. Only my desktop version is. So we're going to update this one later. So let's go ahead and do the other ones. So you can see this symbol has now changed. Right? It's saying, I'm using the cloud as my data set. Right? So server, publish, let's do European traffic. Okay. Again, same thing. Don't worry about this Tableau bridge. You're not doing that just yet. Make sure that's ticked. And go publish. And then we wait. And obviously, the larger your data set, the longer it takes. All right, that's that one, and we'll do the last one, right? Sample uh, the Superstore, publish Superstore. Okay, again, same thing. It's going to prepare the file for us, put it into the same place, and go publish. Okay, and that's going to open them up. All right, so this one's done. Close that. That one's probably going to be all three of them in there now. All right, so we've got our superstore here as well. Okay, close that. All right, so we now have our three published files. Now that means if there's another user, right, that's got access to my site, they can connect directly to this data set. So let me show you how that works. I'm going to open a fresh one. So pretend I'm somebody else. I'm going to connect to it and I think we'll stop there and we'll do the other video on a, we'll do a new video for the latter part of this training just because it's quite long. Okay, so from here I'm going to look for Tableau server. Okay, it's a bit misleading because, well, we're connecting to Tableau online, but it's kind of the same thing in this context, right? Now I'm using, I think, an older version because I was having a problem with my 2019.4. Uh, 2019.4, this button is actually at the top, right? So in case you can't find it. And if it's not in here, you can just go more. Let's go Tableau server, okay? And you're going to get this. We're going to click to Tableau online. We're going to log in as normal, right? Because we have to go through the security to actually access the data. Okay, so what's my username and password? Okay. And I think that's right. Okay, so that's going to do my, all my authentication. And then it's going to show me all the published data sources that I can connect to, right? That I can use for analysis. Now, obviously, you need a creator license for this. Do, 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 do. Okay, here we go. So those data sets that we published, they are now available here. That means if I click on one of these, now this one is the one that 
was there when we created the site, right? So I didn't do that one. That's just a spare. Okay, so let's say I'm going to look at the MBA data. I can just click on MBA, right? Just give it a second. It's going to connect. You don't have to press update now. It's a live connection. You can see up here, right? So I'm not going to worry about any of that. And I'm just going to click on sheet one. Now I can use that data straight away, right? That is the beauty of your published data source, uh, data sources. If the other person had access to some other system that I didn't, I can just access the data through cloud, right? Through uh, Tableau online and start doing my analysis. Now, if I ever publish this, when that raw data set updates on the cloud, my dashboard will also update. Okay, so for now, we'll leave it there and then we'll continue on with some more of this published data sources. All right, see you soon.